everyone and welcome again to The Doctor Show. I'm Dr. Zahra al Jumeli here and we're here to talk about medical care, we talk about diseases, we talk about anything related to science when it comes to biology. So, in order for you to watch our previous episodes or to ask any questions, we can answer them and we can make episodes about them. So make sure to ask us and find us on social media. All right, so today's episode is actually very, very important for you to know, and not a lot of people know anything about it. So let's just dig in and start talking about it. So we have multiple organs in our bodies are in the system that is called endocrine system. What does that mean? It means it's an organ that its job is to send hormones to the body. What is a hormone? A hormone is a type of protein. It's a little chemical that goes from one organ to a certain place and does an action to that place. Like what? Like the growth hormone. In order for me to grow up and have bigger bones and get taller and have all my characteristics, I need to have a growth hormone. So we have multiple organs in our body. We have an organ, uh, an endocrine organ, just below our brain in the middle of our skull called pituitary gland. We have an organ in, uh, in the front of your neck. It's called thyroid gland. We have the pancreas. I'm sure we all know what is the pancreas, which releases insulin. Uh, it's right below our stomach. So we have so many organs that, ha that their function is to release hormones. So today, we're going to talk about one certain organ that releases hormones and what does do these hormones do. So the first organ that we talk about, or the only one this episode, is the thyroid gland. So the thyroid gland is just a tiny butterfly-shaped organ that is here, right here, in your neck. So it actually kind of hugs your trachea, which is the windpipe that the air goes in, and holds it a little bit. What does it do? Why do we have it? It actually does something very, very, very important. It controls your metabolism in your body. What does the metabolism do? Metabolism is every metabolic reaction, every chemical reaction in your body. It's how much of amount of energy you make every day. So it controls, technically, it controls your energy. How fast you absorb the food and you turn them into energy. So this thyroid gland is very, very, very important into releasing two hormones called T4 and T3. Why is it three and four? It's just because it has iodine and it's the number of iodine atoms in each hormone. So what do these two hormones do? It makes you absorb your food, it makes your chemical reactions in your body, it makes you tolerate heat, it makes you just um, to have energy in your body. So it's very important as we see and it's really, really, really um, something essential for our body to have. But today I'm going to talk about two diseases. What if I have too much release of the thyroid hormone and too little release of the thyroid hormone? And how do we treat them and how we diagnose them? So if we have too much of one disease, if we have too much of this, this thyroid gland, I have something called hyper thyroidism. The word hyper, it means a lot. The word hypo, with an O, it means little. So hyperthyroidism, it means too much release of the, thyroid, of the thyroid hormone. Let's say I have too much of this hormone. What do I have? What, what symptoms will I show? First of all, you get very irritable and very angry all the time and very um, anxious for things. So you don't even control it. And it's, it doesn't make sense because you usually were not bef like that before. So a lot of irritability. Number two, how much you eat food, you will not gain weight. You will burn food so easily and so fast that you will not gain weight no matter how much you eat. Second of all, you will not be able to tolerate heat. You will have, you'll be anxious the whole time. You'll be angry the whole time. Anything that could make you angry, you will be flushing the whole time. And for girls, they will have a lot of irregular periods and could skip a month or two. So these symptoms, because they're a bit vague, we always, 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 in any initial assessment, and in any initial blood test in the hospital, we always, always, always have it a regular test to check the thyroid hormone because sometimes the symptoms are way too vague for us to guess it first. 
So if you actually go and do your regular checkups, and we did talk about that in one episode before, if you want to check it out, please check it before, any regular checkups you should have. One of them I talked about was the thyroid hormone. So any regular checkup you need to have, needs to have T4 and T3. So this is the hyperactivity of the thyroid. What about if you have hypothyroidism, which is the less activity of the thyroid? You will have opposite of that. You will be very cold very easily. You will get, um, you will get fat very, very easily, if you, even if you don't eat a lot, because your metabolism in your body is very, very slow. So you don't burn food as much as you should. You don't, almost you don't burn it at all. And by the way, in both of them, you might have enlargement of the thyroid and you might have a bump here. So people usually notice it right away and people usually notice this bump. Sometimes people think maybe they're getting fat or something, they're maybe getting anything, but usually people notice it. And there is like a self-assessment if you want to check your thyroid or not. And for the hypothyroidism, um, girls, they have very, very, very heavy uh, periods that take, takes more days than it should. They have coarse hair and dry skin and pale skin. So all of that is hypothyroidism. We have way more types of thyro thyroid diseases, but they're not important for us to mention right now. But the very few important ones, one of them happens when the baby is born. So when the baby is born, sometimes he has a yellow skin and he's very withdrawn. So we do a test. In most countries, they do a test immediately after the baby is born. It's probably it's a heel prick test to check if he has hypothyroidism or not because the low thyroid hormone is very, very, very common in people, in, in um, like it's a disease when people are, when babies are immediately born. All right, we have another thyroid disease that happens after pregnancy. So you know when the lady is pregnant, she has a lot of diseases during pregnancy. She might have diabetes while she does not, like it's called gestational diabetes. She might have hypertension when she doesn't have it. Well, another disease that could happen in pregnancy is she has hyperthyroidism or any type of thyroid disease and then later on disappears just like any other things. But there's a very small percentage of ladies, they actually, it doesn't disappear after and they live with it to the rest of their lives, just like diabetes and hypertension all at once and that's actually very common to happen. So if the lady has any symptoms while she's pregnant, on her antenatal checks, it means that during pregnancy checks, she needs to go and check for her thyroid hormone to be on point. And we have other uh, diseases. There's another thyroid hormone disease that happens with people who have autoimmune diseases. The word autoimmune, it means your own immunity fights your own body as it's something foreign. We have multiple diseases that are autoimmune. So if someone has like a liver disease that autoimmune, skin disease like vitiligo, like psoriasis, all of these things are autoimmune. So usually when a person has one autoimmune disease, they're more liable to get more in the future. It's very small percentage of people, but it's still there. So now we set the types of the thyroid diseases. How do we diagnose them? I told you, just when you doubt it, you immediately go and get your blood, check, uh, blood uh, test check, which is T4, T3, and something called TSH as well. We check them up. And the second thing, we do an ultrasound on your neck. After the test, after the, uh, the clinical test, the doctor might touch the area here just to try to see if it's enlarged or not. Um, makes you do some simple things for you to actually see if, if it's there, there is any enlargement. We do an ultrasound check. This ultrasound precisely sees the size of it, if there's nodules, if there are enlargement, and we check them up. Later on, how to treat it. If the disease is still small, if the disease is still maybe it's not that enlarged or maybe it's just in the beginning of the disease. If I have hypothyroidism, I can just give you uh, tablets that have the thyroid hormone. If I have hyper, I have an antidote or a drug that makes it lower. It's very simple. If you have it, the treatment is very, very simple. Even if you have a nodule, like an enlargement or a tumor inside of it, we operate surgically, it's either by an incision here or an incision from the armpit if um, uh, a person does not want more scars. So what do we do? We usually take a little bit, half of the thyroid gland. We don't usually go for all of it unless we have to. So we take the tumor out and we 
um, we keep on giving supplementary thyroid hormone or not to the person and tell to the rest of their life to compensate the thyroid hormone because I told you the thyroid is very, very, very important to have. So obviously the treatment is very easy and the disease is not as dangerous as we think it is. We always, always, always say people need to be more knowledgeable about the thyroid hormone and the thyroid gland and its diseases because usually people don't even know about it. So now please, if you listen to me and if you know uh, if you know uh, right now what is it I gave you very basic information about it you can later on go and search it yourself and to know uh, the difference between them if you know right now please make sure to give the knowledge to everyone uh, around you because it's very important to know so that's it for today I hope you stay safe and I hope you stay healthy and please if you ever 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 doubt any symptom you immediately need to check with a doctor to check yourself Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a good day.